Morning, everyone. This is Lindsey Huddleston back at it again with another Monday Motivation. Hope you had a great weekend. I had a wonderful weekend. was able to travel to the great city of Ann Arbor. I know we got some East Lansing people who don't like me saying that, but it is a great city. I don't care what you say for the big Michigan, Michigan State game. Uh, as many of you know, Michigan was successful. Michigan State has been struggling this season, and I've been up close following them, been at every game, home and away, seeing that. But what I want to follow up on is a theme that I brought up when I was in the press box uh, Saturday at the University of Michigan in the big house. It's expectations. What happens when you don't meet expectations? Walt, what's good, man? I know your son is doing really well out there. Expectations are defined as a strong belief that something will happen or be the case in the future. I think what happens is when we have an expectation, we have this passionate commitment, this emotional commitment to something happening. And for whatever reason, when it doesn't, whether you lose a game, relationship doesn't work, you don't get the job, we're defeated. We're down. Patrick, enjoying that retired life. Good to see you, man. Thanks for checking in. But with expectations, we have to realize that even though we set an expectation, and we have this emotional commitment to it. We do all the things. We cross all the T's, dot all the I's. And that expectation still is not met. It still does not mean we don't start again. We don't build and do it one more time. I think so many times we make this commitment to ourselves that, hey, I put all this time and effort into something, whether it's preparing for a match, preparing for a meeting. And if it doesn't go the way you expect it, you feel defeated and you quit. But the reality is that nothing is promised to you. No matter what effort you put into something, no matter what per work you put into something, no matter what your vision for something is, it doesn't mean it's promised to happen to you in that way. But the only way, the only way you could determine that all is not lost is if you don't give up and if you don't quit. And many of us have that eternal spirit to make us go forward, but societal pressures stop us from doing that. It may be social media, it may be friends, it may be family. But if there's something you want, and there's something you want really, really bad, you got to keep pushing. I use a uh, cultural piece. Uh, I took a picture with my guy, World Wide West. Some of you may know him. Some may say, who are you talking about? But if you go back to GQ, and I'll post an article later. Some 10 plus years ago, they did an article about this mysterious man in sports. And it happened to be uh, Wesley Williams. Um, Work closely with a lot of athletes. People don't know quite what he does, but I never forget reading that article years ago and being so intrigued by him because I remember there was one thing that all these star athletes said about him. He never asked for anything from them, and he built this relationship. And my persona was kind of impacted by that years ago, by my work in politics and, of course, my work in sports. But to be some years later and have to have several encounters with him, several discussions with him, and to be able to take that picture with him is just an indication that if there's something that you want and you want to work on, there's no timeline on when it can happen. It normally won't happen in the time that we think. But here I am catching up with one of the most mysterious, unpredictable, <clears throat> a person you just can't catch. And for him to be able to make his way over to me, to greet me, to communicate with me, we talk about things that we've always done, and even take a picture with him was a great thing. But it means that even though you have a belief in something, even though you're working towards it, life is funny in a way that it doesn't always give it to us in the way that we think we should get it. And for that reason, you shouldn't feel defeated. You shouldn't quit. You should have enough drive inside of you for that one thing you're working to achieve that it doesn't matter that getting back in the lab and starting all over and working on it piece by piece shouldn't be a problem because that's part of your commitment i like when one of the rappers says are you living or are you existing so many of us are just existing and we're not taking the time to live and it's tough because here it is the holiday season things are upon us this is the time when a lot of emotions overtake us, whether it's the loss of a loved one, just the challenges of things you want to do, but having the financial challenges for something that you can't do it, or just not having a relationship that you want. There are so many things that can get you down. That's why I want to encourage you on this money motivation, that even though you have expectations defined as that strong belief that something will happen or be the case in the future, if it doesn't happen, you have to keep pushing. That doesn't mean force a relationship to work that's not there to work. It doesn't mean that a game that you lost, you try to play it again. It means you go back and you work on what can you improve to be better. And it just may not be for you at that time. It may not be the time for it to happen. However, if you stay committed, there'll be a peace of mind that I feel in my heart that I have that when you go forward for the next opportunity, it will happen. And who knows? 
that may not be what you're supposed to have. It may be something else that you didn't even think of that's much greater than what your mind envisioned. So with that, I want to encourage you guys on this Monday, get out there and have a great day. Uh, have a great week. And as I always say, work on your goals bit by bit, piece by piece, small goals, check off the box, and then move on to the big ones. Well, I want to thank you guys. Thank you, Walt and Patrick, for saying good morning. Uh, you guys have a great day and have a great week, and I'll see you soon.